some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Orange County, Florida, where a sovereign citizen doesn't feel like that uh, evictions apply to her whatsoever, even though she has been uh, to going through the eviction process, foreclosure and everything like that for quite a while now. She just doesn't want to respond to court proceedings or foreclosure warnings or anything like that. So she's got, she's had plenty of notice. And now the police have arrived to take care of business. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Cheers up here, sorry big challenge. Sheriff's office, hand the sub eviction for everybody inside this residence. Okay, we're serving eviction. Open up the door, ma'am. I've been here for 20 years. I'm not evicted. You go through a process. I haven't been through no process. You can't nobody just come up here. My name is Miss Green. The process has been going on this whole time without you. You stopped paying your mortgage and they gave you warning after warning after warning. And finally it went to court. The court tried to get a hold of you, but you ignored the court. And now it's come to this because the house has already been foreclosed upon. And well, you're being evicted because of your own stupidity of not responding and taking action. So, this is the consequence to you being a sovereign citizen and not abiding by anything that reality has to offer. Screen, Deputy Sutton. We post a notice on your door. That's not, it said unknown. I'm a known person. I don't know what that means. Miss Green, is anybody else in there with you? My grandson is in there with me. Okay, how's your grandson? He's 19. 19. Why didn't you go to the courthouse when your notice was posted on the door? I'm not an unknown person. I'm Zoanne Green. I've been here for 20 years. They don't have no contracts with me to be doing nothing with anyone. So I don't know why they're here talking about they can evict me and all this stuff. So you go past foreclosure to evict, to get in the... Listen, this is a scam, and the bank is a scam. No, the banks are a reality of life. You, Those are the actual contracts right there that you have to deal with. Unfortunately, you ended up falling for a uh, sovereign citizen guru who led you down the wrong path, and now you're paying the price for it. So, so maybe next time you should actually uh, pay your bills instead of listening to some uh, actual scammer who's just trying to get a buck off of you, and, uh, well, and help contribute to losing your house. And so they don't have no jurisdiction over me. I'm indigenous to this land. This is my property. I've been here. That's why they can't touch me. Now, this person comes over here talking about, oh, I just uh, purchased this house from an auction with no paperwork in his hand. He just talked. I could have killed him. You don't come up to nobody's home talking about what you got. You ain't got nothing in your hand. You're just talking. Like, who the fuck does that? Well, gee, if you would have actually responded to the note on your door, you you probably would have been able to stop this process to begin with. And that guy who came over to your house saying that he now owned your house would never have shown up to begin with saying that he owned your house because he bought it at a foreclosure auction, you dipshit. This is what happens when you ignore vital information and just think that nothing applies to you. If I'm supposed to be evicted, my name is not unknown. Everybody knows it. This my life, the light bill has been in my name for 20 years. I have been here. This is my home. Okay, don't nobody, can't nobody buy somebody's home off from under them if they don't have no paperwork or no nothing. Okay, That's I'm not I'm right. So you can't evict me for nothing. Well, my question to you, Miss Green, 
Why didn't you go to the courthouse? Because the papers say unknown. I'm not an unknown. If you have something, I, I, I bet all my neighbors know me. I'm part of the neighborhood watch. Why is my name not on any paperwork? The, to explain that to me. I'm not unknown. I'm very known. So I don't know what kind of eviction you're doing, but it's a, it's illegal. Right. So you can't I'm, evict I'm me. I'm doing a court order now. Well, I don't know who, what court order, what name is it under? It's under 3718. That's not a name. That's an address. Yes. How perceptive of you. It is the address. Now, if you would only use that perception of yours to actually uh, read the original uh, notice and perhaps would have figured out that the someone on there may have been you and maybe you could have fought this one out and perhaps some uh, deal could have been arranged, but I guess that sovereign citizen garbage just was floating around way too much in your head and, uh, well, we'll consider this one an epic fail on your part. Let me explain to you, Mr. While I'm here. And the court order was signed by the judge saying to do the eviction. Under who? For who? I'm just explaining okay, to you. Okay. It's for the property. No, you can't abuse it. You, really? You so you think you, you can come here it? and evict somebody off of a property and you don't even have their name? Okay. It doesn't require me to have a name. You want to read this portion? Are you of? fucking serious, too? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to let you read this. I don't need to read none of that. I don't want to read it. It don't have nothing to do with me. It has to do with this property. Says this me. is my property under my name. You don't even have a name on there. The screen. So I'm not leaving my property. <laughs> State of Florida, which we're in, to the Orange County Sheriff's Office, which is the county we're in. You're so you're going to throw me out of my house right now? I have no choice, man. This is the court says yes. Y'all was come to throw all my shit out there. Since you're gonna do that to, so says, to an indigenous person so of this land, land so you go do it. All persons. You're not removing me from my property. So you're about to take me out of here? How? Voluntarily, preferably. You, you listen. I'm telling you, you're not removing me out of my property. Okay. I'm not leaving. So. Okay. You don't want to take you to jail, sir. Really? You. This is pathetic. Y'all are something else. And we, God we will deal to, with you. To get to that God will deal with you. Okay. I'm not leaving my house. This is my property. You you, you walk up here with a guy. Where What is he doing? Who is there. that white man there. coming up here trying to take black people's homes? Ma'am, this is not exactly an issue of race. Uh, this is an issue of uh, you listening to sovereign citizen stupidity and not paying the bank the owed mortgage loan i mean uh that could come bite anybody in the ass whether you're white black brown purple or what i mean you're gonna lose your home if you don't pay your damn mortgage no you walked up here with a guy with no name on no paper you keep one sir there's no name on, on that paper. Yes, you think you can throw me out of my house? That is against the law. I'm sorry. You can't. All right, sir. You got to leave, man. You got a court order to move off. I got to leave. Look, look all my like stuff is in here. All my life is in here. I've been here for 20 years. Really? Just like that's your mother? My granddaughter, this is my grandson. Okay, just like I was praying to your grandmother, we got a court order to remove all persons coming to the address. I need the supervisor to come over here, somebody. Because I'm not, this is not happening to you. I don't, they think they can just come and take you out your home. That is a shame. No, what is a shame is that you fell for some bullshit belief system uh, such as the sovereign citizen movement allowed it to guide your actions in your and your decision making processes into not paying your mortgage which led to a build up of back payments which led to a foreclosure warning which led to a 
court hearing that you decided not to show up to because you believe that uh, you're not in their jurisdiction and therefore the process continued without you because you were not adult enough to handle the decision-making processes. All this could have been avoided had you been an adult and an adult and paid your damn mortgage. That is what the shameful part about all this is. You're blaming everybody else but yourself. Grow up and start paying your mortgage. Oh, wait, it's already too late. You've been kicked out, you freaking moron. I need somebody you, over you know your is? That's what we're doing right now. You can't evict someone. They don't even have my name on her. They just want to throw me up out of here. And that guy over there did it. He came when it got them. With no paperwork, just come to your house. Y'all do that to black people all day long. He got some paperwork with nobody's name on it. And he thinks he can th for the property, not the persons that's in the property. You can step out there. You're not in trouble. I'm scared of these right? people. So and I don't even know why you're showing it to him. I'm the grown person. You didn't want to look at it, man. I don't need that. It ain't, my name ain't okay, on he's it. He's in the door, right? Yeah, but my okay. name ain't on it. Okay. We're in the state of Florida, right? You don't even have his glasses Our on. Our Orange County Sheriff's Office. You are commanded to remove all persons from 3718 I can't Avenue. This. I'm, I'm, I'm and put really appalled this right company in possession of property. This is a shame. So I don't know where they think I'm going to go. I don't have any place to go. I'm going to sit here on this damn board. To remove the person up now? To remove all persons. That's, that's a shame. So, that is, so your best place is to gather your belongings? Because I, don't have the, I don't have nowhere to go. Well, if you had gone to court, there could have been a solution to this. But instead, you decided on a really bad decision. He chose poorly. You can go to the court and try to fight this. Really? But I, but I need to get out of my house I can't first. stop this eviction. But that is a shame. And, you, and look at you. Yeah, we don't enjoy doing this. Yes, you do. I have you, a you, you think, you're some, you think okay, that so this is beautiful. This, this eviction is going to happen. I'm not leaving my house. I'm not. I've been living here for 20 years. You want me to just up and leave because you brought your, you came over here on my porch telling me what I got to do. My name ain't on nothing. So you gonna take me to jail? Man, we don't want to do that. You don't want to, but you will in a heartbeat. You don't care about nobody. You have nothing inside of that, that is not nothing. you. Nothing. And, and I pray for you because something will happen to both of y'all for coming here trying to remove somebody from their house because of that piece of shit. That ain't, he's a foreigner it's not a on my it's land. Of the court you will pay dearly, honey, if I right. leave here because I don't have no place to go and I'm not leaving. I got too much shit to get out of here. So I don't know what we're going to do, but you might need to go back to the judge and tell him I said to call me. That's something you should have did, man. I don't need to do that. That's not, none, none of it is on my, my name is not on any, they're not talking to me. Okay. So you're not a person? I'm not, my name, I have a name and, a, and an identity. But you are a person, right? It doesn't say person. It, it says, says, it needs to say the person that has been here, the light bill is in my name. For 20 so years. You have to talk to the court about. I don't need to talk to no court. I'm indigenous. This is my land. You are so lame. I'm not lame. Yes. Yes, you are. Please, mom, please don't do that. Don't be mean to me. I'm not being mean to you. You're just too lame to say it. You don't know what I can do, what I'm going to do. You don't know. You don't know what I'm going to be. You don't know how good I am. Good things, and you don't know it. And I'm going to be somebody, and don't tell me I'm not. <laughs> Now that we've seen it from her side, let's take a look at uh, it from the side of the new owner of the house. Well, we got a bit of a situation. Bought this house at the auction. She's claiming it's sovereign property. We had to go through the eviction process. Uh, she's called me many names. Looks like she has requested all the officers' names and badge numbers. And they are writing this information down. 
Yeah, she's asked for all their badge numbers yeah, and I names. I guess she can file a complaint. She could have showed up for court, by the way. But her reason for not going to the court date was she has a name. Her name is not unknown. Well, now, that is such an easy thing to fix. Because, you know, what she could have done was she could have gotten up off her ass, gone down to the courthouse, and talked to the judge, and presented herself, and told her, told the judge what her name was. And, well, this could have been avoided. But she had to be a total dumbass and play some antic word games. So, F around and find out. She's going back to the door to do something. She unlocked the door, went back in for some reason. Don't know why. The police officers are going in with them. Uh, they have a car. And for the record, it is a BMW. <laughs> well, if she treats that BMW anything like she treated her own home and she conveniently forgets to make some payments on it, guess what? It's going to get repossessed too. And well, that's the end of the video, folks. I mean, they did leave and apparently they had a place to go because all their belongings were put in the garage and the owner commented that they did come by and pick it all up. So, obviously, they had somewhere to put it and perhaps a place to stay. But you know what? There's a lesson to be learned in here. Don't be a soft hard moron and decide that you're not going to pay any of your bills because this kind of thing will happen to you if you go down that route. So, don't be this person. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.